In the American Southwest, the desert dogs roam. It's the Coyotes on home ice. Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich. And tonight, we see a team that was one of the toasts of the league for a while. And the while ended with the last game. They lost that one. What do you tell them? Well, let's start a new streak. Tough enough to win in this league, but they had a real good run. It came to a abrupt stop. But at the end of the day is that you have to figure out a way what you did during that real good winning streak that did not allow you to win that last game. Toronto's philosophy should not change just because of one loss. You're coming off a game where you know you could have played better, but the best part of a busy schedule is you don't have too much time to think about your prior game. Let's start a new streak. Let's look at the starting netminders. Coaching staff has faith here. He can get better in this one after losing the last one. He gets the call to the crease despite losing that last game. The centermen are in, and the puck will be dropped. We are just underway in Arizona. Toronto's coming off a loss. They need to get back to the bases. That's a great save. Oh, what a hit that one was. Riley's the type of player that responds to this type of game. It's going to be aggressive from start to finish, and his team wants to have the upper hand. Let's it go. Got a piece of that one. Toronto's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Back in his defensive end to get it. Look out, the hits are coming. Drives ahead. Great save. Propel to Nylander. Use that stick like a magic wand. Very important steal for him. Skill play by Ekman Larson. Skilled play by Demers. Directing that one to Perlini. And in flight over the line. Pass attempt to Marlowe. Fires just got it at the last moment. Strong wrister. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. And still another save. What a show. Amazing reflexes on that second chance. And he dumps it in. Cadre's looking to lead. In with it now. A big one-timer. Score! Sometimes when you score first, you take the edge off your own team. That can't happen. You're up one. Go make it two. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. And the faceoff's won. Passing one off now to Grabner. Otto's in the neutral zone along the way. Let's it go. Wonderful stop. Swept on to Dermott. Quick wrister. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. What a tremendous hit. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing his check. That puck is held and the whistle stops play. Maple Leafs come into the night's game feeling great about the way they've played over the last 10 games. I was talking to their coach this morning, and he said there's not one facet that he's been dissatisfied. They really want to take the game to their opponent, who's really struggled lately. Over nine minutes remaining here in the first. Toronto's ahead, 1-0. Arizona's prevailed on another faceoff. That is up close and personal. Goes back deep for it. A collision. In 
into the attacking end. Snatches it up. The Maple Leafs force another turnover in this game. Let's see what they can do with it. Osterley's position on the ice allowed him to make this big hit. The Coyotes control from the neutral zone. Perfect pass! That shot came from right in front. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. He won't avoid something for doing that. And for every action, there's a reaction. When you make a play like that, usually the end result is this. That was going back into old times for those two major penalties. Pretty one-sided tilt. The road team was able to get the upper hand, and their guy won this fight. More times than not, you drop your gloves like that, you're going to spend at least five minutes in the box. And they take that neutral zone face-off, pitching it to Hosa. A big collision in the middle of the ice. Since the rules have changed a little bit, you're not able to hold up quite as much as you used to. A rarity is an open ice hit. That is a big one. The Maple Leafs always want to play a physical game, and their leader is right here. He always has among the highest hit totals in the league. He is a pinball on ice. Arizona's got a face-off win. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. Puck is thrown to Ekman Larson. An enormous hit. Riley's ability around the league is eye-catching, but when he uses the body, everybody takes note. Takes it to the corner. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. And now it's directed to Gardner. Fires a shot. Say, goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. Chip to Goligoski. And it's a good pickup. The Maple Leafs skated up on the side. Snapping a pass to Galchenyuk. Oh, my, what a hit. Hopefully it sticks the only thing that's broken. It's dumped in. Looks ahead to start something. Couldn't retain possession. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Got the iron with the shot. That one's off the crossbar. Toronto's always played a pretty simple, straightforward game. Get the puck in, take the puck to the net, lay the body on when you don't have the puck, and as a result, they have the game's lead. Nice face-off work. Dogged determination there by Ponick. The Maple Leafs get two minutes, and the call is boarding. Yeah, as you can see here, Doc, no chance for the attacking player to protect themselves. That's why it's a two-minute penalty. Good offensive zone win. Quickly off the stick. First period has been played. An interesting start to all of this. Continuation in just a moment. Toronto's connected once, and that's the only goal. A look now at the lopsided shot totals. 11 for Toronto and 4 for the Coyotes. The Leafs have a lead. It is just one, and they did it this way. We'll be right back. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What stuck out for you? The Coyotes are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. Can the power play strike early here in this period? We're underway. Fires. He hit the post on the outside with a shot. 
A deflection off the crossbar and into the seats. Arizona's got a defensive zone win. A delayed penalty call coming. Can start the attack going in the zone. Hyman's got two minutes for interference. You got to play with controlled emotion. You can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have the puck. Arizona's power play unit gets a rare five against three. It's a special time for them to rocket home some goals. One of the biggest problems on a five-on-three is teams are too cautious. They don't shoot the puck enough, and they make it too easy for the penalty killers to kill it off. And it's all save. That one is pointed to him. Terrific interception. Whistle is blown, and the guilty party heads off the ice. The Maple Leafs have taken a slashing minor here. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. It is a five-on-three for a brief time, but still a two-man advantage, and the faceoff will start it off. They've been on the power play before. It's not been very effective, but they get another one handed to them here. Gains the zone. Around through the corner right now. Terrific shot, but a great point blank save. Now that. Oh, he's got this one, but can they catch up to him? Terrific breakup of the odd man rush. The Coyotes power play is over. They missed out on a great opportunity to tie this one up. Arizona's given a minor here for tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. The Leafs are going to get their first opportunity on the power play right now. Just because it's your power play doesn't mean you can take a nap here. You have to work hard and continue to generate chances. Five minutes, six seconds. Is able to move on in. Back on his stick. He's got it, but has to get rid of it. The Coyotes shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Arizona's good on that penalty kill, so we're back even. Fires! Got iron with the shot! Would have been nice for an extra cushion if that puck hits the pipe and goes in. That's still frustrating, even though you're in the lead. Toronto's bench sagged again, guys. Right next to me as the same player takes another penalty. He leads the league in penalty minutes, and guys know who's undisciplined and who's not. This gets a little old after a while. Nice face-off win. Terrific glove save. To Galchenyuk. A big, big hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Toronto's on the move, hoping to wheel it up the wing. Did what he's made to do. Shoots one. Oh, and that shot is way off. You find yourself in the slot with the puck on your stick, you better at least make the goalie make the save. Unfortunately, he shot that one well off. Shoots it. That one just hit the post. They've got all the gunners out. Oh, came so close. In Estrosa's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Toronto sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. Are you listening? I was going to say, I don't know what he's thinking there, but the answer is he's not. That's another penalty that he's taking. Power play meter is still running. It's taken by Demers. And here's Ray. Toronto's game plan is obviously body first, puck second. And as a result, they've opened up all kinds of space in the offensive zone. You're right, Ray. This is a physical game, especially played by the team that's up on the scoreboard. Good clean win. Puck ricocheted off the screen. That 
That's just a good, effective close-off. This is what you call a great body check, legal along those boards. The Coyotes' power play is over. They've had their problems tonight. Boom! What a great open ice hit. Whoa, he's going to have to get his win back after taking such an enormous, massive open ice hit. Rister turned away with the stick. To the point it comes. Shoots. Routine save. The Coyotes possess the play in no man's land. Let's it go. Punched away. That puck's loose a good defensive play. Looking to Dermot. Gains that offensive line. One timer and a save. And they've got it again. Tremendous hit. Toronto's lugging it up the wing. Made that stop. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Won that face off. Now what? Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. A slot wrister. Shot deflected. Moving it to Ponick. Look out. Here it goes. A rocket. Good work there in goal. Pitching this one to Grabner. Let's it go. That's a good save on an easy shot. 40 minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. Looking at the shots on goal through two periods here, 22 for the Maple Leafs and nine for the Coyotes. Just a reminder to always keep your eyes Anderson's been magnificent between the pipes. Here's an example as we had to break. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? The Coyotes have been a bit frustrated, Doc, after two periods of play. They were down on the scoreboard. They have the prospects of a real hot goaltender in front of them. As their coach, I would tell them to stay with it. Eventually, you get one, and then you get another, and you'll be right back in this game. Slid to Tavares. Chooses the corner. Shoots, not on the net. The shot doesn't have to be perfect from there, but it does have to hit the net. Let's it go. Score! He's worked on this shot before because that's such a quick release and he snaps it home. Everybody loves those, the ones where the water bottle's just about to get shaken. That's a perfect shot right in the top of the net. The Coyotes control from the faceoff. Arizona's moving the puck up the wing. And he dumps it in. Off the woodwork to Marner. That puck's loose because of the defense. Save there. Scooped up. He loads it up. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Puck heads to the neutral zone. The attackers, of course, follow. That was one. He'll get the number on. I like that he's trying to create space by throwing the body round. This is a way to change momentum in a hockey game. Crosses that line. Great save. Trying to go to Grabner. Oh, what a collision in open ice. Directing that one to Marlowe. Pass attempt to Kadri. Stole that pass. Got it in his own end. Toronto's controlling play now up the wing. 
Nice work by Jalmerson. That's the way to make him pay. His ability to make an impact on the game is tied directly to how physical he can be. He's not going to beat you with skill, but he's a good skater, and he gets in on the four check, finishes his check, plays through you in the middle of the ice. He's a very valuable player. Ooh, nice job there. That's one hit of many for him. Wonderful stop. Toronto's played so well defensively tonight. Their goaltender has been excellent, and while some people think it's bad luck to mention a shutout, well, they're trying to protect one, and I'm not going to affect it sitting in the middle of a video game. The Coyotes with a clean win on the draw. Picks it up in his own end. He throws it there. Great stick there. And he's tied up and held. Terrific defensive work. Pitched up the wing to Deborah. Biggest chance of the game. Hope checked away. hitting in this game. There's an example. Big drive. That's turned aside. Moving along in the defensive zone. Picks it up back there. Passing one off now to Kapanen. It's just him. He scores. That's three unanswered goals. has found himself in all alone on the breakaway, and he scored. The goaltender looked like he was too concerned, Eddie, with getting his feet back to the post. Then he can't get the five-hole closed. Toronto's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Maple Leaf score, scored by number 86. The Coyotes are driving it from the wing. Number 24. Laid on to Archibald. He got iron with that one. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. Toronto's getting a minor. You may have noticed this one. It's two minutes for interference. You got to be in control. You just can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have a puck. Arizona's power play has had many opportunities, just not much success. Maybe that'll change. Well, their power play hasn't come through for them yet. Here's another opportunity. See if they can take advantage of it. Time of the penalty. Great bad stop. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. The game was close until this bout, and then the emotion just completely seemed to swing over one way to the other. His team has grabbed the momentum and dominated the game since. A little under four minutes left to go in the period. The Maple Leafs lead by three, going for four. A heartening collision. You thought they were gone. They're not. That's one part of the game the fans love is contact, and it doesn't get any bigger than that. The Maple Leafs have stayed on the body throughout this contest. As a result, they're starting to slow down the opposition, and they've increased their lead. Good face-off win. Routine save, but a necessary one. The Leafs' penalty kill has gotten a workout, but still perfect. Angles it ahead to Kapanen. Alone. Fired one, and it got the post. Nearing the last minute of the third period. Oh, he got it! You couldn't have chosen a better guy for that shot, or apparently a better guy to stop it. I don't know how much of this puck he stopped, guys, but it was just enough to keep it out of the net. Defensive zone win. Outstanding body contact. 
one-time blast. Oh, what a glove he's got there. That was a big hit. Nice hit. Anything to slow him down here. And a long-awaited whistle. Now they can help him. Yalmerson's been in discomfort since this hit here. Good job on the draw. Enormous hit. He's crushed. Ekman Larson's not going to be too happy with that. He didn't have his head up, wasn't aware of everybody around him, and then he got steamrolled. Not sure who made the hit, but that is a big one. Flings it. Terrific shot, but a denial. The whistle is blown. The net is off. They can't play when it's that one. Players are always told to get themselves to the net. However, in this case, they bump into it, and the net pops off those little orange pegs. And that's a face-off win. The Coyotes keep the play going in the middle. He had high hopes. So do we all. Save! And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. The Maple Leafs have been the more aggressive team right from the very beginning of this period. They've been on the body, hemmed them in in the offensive zone, and as a result, they have the lead. Clean win on the draw. Arizona's continuing on in their own end. And he's hit again, and hard breaks away. And that's the end of the game. It was a great time. It is a good thing there are extra digits that go all the way up high on both scoring and in shooting because those were challenged tonight. This was lopsided. Not a very good effort. Need to regroup or the coach and general manager are going to have a meeting.